A gift from Gillette Children's Hospital is about to change a Minnesota teenager's life. David Schumann shows us how she's learning to use an electric wheelchair months after coming out of a coma. It's a story you'll only see on W. Are you ready to, ready to drive? All right. Guided by the strength of her own hand, Natalie Bolanos is moving. Happy, excited. I thought that I would never see her do that. The 15-year-old from Blaine is still getting the hang of it. Can you pull it back there? But even these short trips represent massive progress. This way, Natalie. They said that she's not going to make it, but she's here. Natalie suffered two strokes last year and fell into a coma. She came out of it paralyzed and unable to speak. We met Natalie and her mom, Lisbeth, at another low point. In March, donation boxes raising money to buy Natalie an electric wheelchair were stolen out of a friend's Minneapolis grocery store. The first thing I, I thought was pure evil. After our story aired, Gillette Children's reached out. Um, because you guys, you were in someone saw it and they just tell me that they want to help more and we're here. The St. Paul Hospital is helping Natalie get stronger and letting her get used to using a power chair. They'll be giving her her own custom chair in the fall. And it's all about just finding ways to help her be the most independent person she can be. They can even just raise the seat up. Natalie's movement is slowly coming back and she can say some small words now. Doctors were so surprised and they said, Natalie, you're a miracle. It's just a feeling with no real explanation, but Lisbeth thinks she's going to start talking again soon. She is. Yep, she moves more. She helps us when we change her. Uh, she turns by herself. She's doing much, much better. In St. Paul, David Schumann. You're doing amazing. WCCO News. Police are still hoping to catch the donation thief. Meanwhile, Natalie hopes to be back at school in September.